Tell us what you love about the Waikato, what your favourite part of the region is and why. Uh, I think my favourite part depends on the day and what I'm doing. Uh, I think the most spectacular sight in the Waikato is being at the top of Mount Kariori looking down the west coast on a sunny day and it's just an absolutely spectacular sight. Summer peaceful cruisy days on the east coast beaches of the Coromandel, are, um, I mean everybody loves those, that's why we all go over there. Uh, but I guess on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, this is this. Um, I've spent a lot of my life next to this lake. Uh, it's, uh, I think, a remarkable facility for this community, for the town. One of the things I like about it is that nobody comes to Hamilton even knows it exists. Mostly, it's it's, it's a local people's playground, and and thousands of people come around here, walking, enjoying the environment daily, and and uh, I just love it. So. Uh, every time I walk around it I feel privileged to live next to the lake, it's great. So I guess the thing about the Waikato is, is, is that it's easy to live in. Um, you know, I've spent, I've left the, left the Waikato, I was born here, I've left here two or three times and sent, tended to drift back for various reasons. But people who come here uh, just recognise how easy it is to live, particularly in and around the city. But uh, the lifestyle, your access to beaches, your access to mountains, all within easy travelling distance. Um, you can get your kids to and from schools, uh, all of the things that Aucklanders don't enjoy. What do you see as being the big issues for the Waikato region over the next 10 years? Well, I think obviously there are a number of them, but uh, environmentally water is the biggest issue that we're going to have to deal with. Um, both how we retain the quality and build the quality of the river again, but at the same time allow economic development, uh, how we give people access to water in a, in a way that um, enables growth and development in the region. Um, but there are others. I mean, one of the ones that concerns me most is, I guess, the social one, which is uh, population is going to grow from Hamilton to Auckland, but the rest of this region is going to start to decreasing in population, and that means we have a lot of towns that have falling populations, ageing populations, um, that leads to a whole lot of inequality in the region. How do we service those towns? How do we support them? Um, and I think that's an issue we're going to have to address much more strongly than we have done. But I think at the heart of all of those, the, the thing that matters most to the region is how we come together to deal with those issues. Um, we're, a, we're a pretty disparate lot. You know, you go into some regions, or if you go into a city like Auckland, um, it, it, it's one community, it sees itself as one city. Whereas here we've got a lot of, um, I guess, communities that don't really relate to each other or identify strongly, and we've got to find a way of, of speaking with one voice. Uh, and that's a serious challenge for the region. Describe how you think the council can resolve these issues. Um, look, water is quite clearly a council responsibility, so uh, there's been tremendous progress with the River Authority and the coming together of the communities. This is one of the areas actually that this region has come together around the Waikato River and uh, I think there is uh, a lot of progress being made. There will always be a balance that we're going to have to grapple with between the economic demands and drivers uh, and the impacts on our environment and the whole community is going to have to take responsibility for those conversations I think. Uh, but when it comes to the, um, I guess, the depopulation issues and the collective voice, it's not a regional council on its own. It's something that a whole range of people in the community can uh, take a role in. I mean, if you look at um, leadership around different regions, Auckland, I think it's been the business community. Uh, in Palmerston North, it's been the university has stepped up and, and really led that community very strongly. Uh, in the Bay of Plenty, I think it's been the regional council. So it really does matter who it is, uh, but we do have to have leaders to step up and unite the region.